Hey guys, welcome back. I had a uh, uh, oh, it's the same day I made my uh, last episode. I just went and uh, woke up a little bit first before I got back to this. So let's go into the next cutscene, I guess. <coughs> Rosa. Good you, villain. Is this some underhanded Ardavian trick? Wrong. But also right. Truth is complicated. Anyhow, here is where Queen died. If we look like Queen killed by Lord Ardain, we hit the money again. That voice. Banner from the Argentum Guild. Correct. Come box for the Queen. You were unseated as chairman. It's not so easy to get rid of Banner. Trade deal of Argenta belong to Banner, down to last screw, last throw of oil. Hold it, Banner. Sorry, my dog just walked in front. Tora feel much greater power than before. Especially from mark on the forehead. What's going on? It's Rosa. Modified. There's quite a bit of us here, bud. We can't let you do that. <laughs> you think you handle the power of a great ego, Rosa? Things go very different this time. All right, bring it, Barna. We've had enough of your shit. Time to take you down. Time to see what you have. This boss caused me a lot of problems when I first played this game. She has this... Bana has this move where... He like... He'll throw like this missile thing. And it's like a one-shot kill kind of deal. So I gotta watch out for it. Fuck, I fucked up. I think. Yeah. I wanted Pyra to use second son, but I, I was way too early. There it is. We gotta get this thing. There we go. Woo! If that timed missile goes off, you're... Don't even count on the party living. Like, they will die. Alright, let's get him with the ruinous water. We have a couple fire blades on us, so I'm pretty damn confident that we can break that water one. Oh shit! Oh, we got the topple! Oh, 
Okay, we gotta get that fucking thing. Okay. Uh. Let's get him. That wasn't a bad fight at all. When, the first time you play this game, though, it's very tricky to try and figure out what the fuck's going on. Oh god. I'm just gonna use cross set. I don't know if this is gonna work. Shit. What a shitty chain attack. Well, we got somewhat of an overkill. I don't know. That sucked. I wanted to get, like... Damn it. Hey, we got a poach expansion kit, though. I wanted a more... A bigger bonus from that. Fuck. Bana. This ends here, Bada. You are under arrest. The Praetorium will handle the judgment. Assassination is a serious matter. Your sentence will be harsh. So the mercantile genius Bella meets an inglorious end before my very eyes. Nile, don't do it. As you wish. Oh. Oh, shit. Ah, I see. I see. No. Okay. You are... Shh. You're gonna be fine. Hmm. 
Nia's not telling us something. She's not Dizzy. saying something. You got us all in a proper tizzy. My apologies. I thought I spied silhouettes. I did not mean to cause trouble. <laughs> First aid, and you're new to that. But his wounds just scratches. <laughs> Nothing me and drama can't handle. You saved. <laughs> Thank you, Mia. I truly don't know how to. I will never be able to repay you. Consider it part of the broken water tower. <laughs> You shouldn't be up. It's only been one day. Please don't strain yourself. Half a day off and look at all this paperwork. I swear, it's like they don't want me to sleep at all. Majesty. Special Inquisitor. I hereby issue you new orders. It is my wish that you travel with the Aegis as an emissary of the Empire. Guard her and defend her against her enemies until she reaches Tantal. Guard the Aegis? I've already discussed it with his eminence. Forgive me, your majesty. I cannot accept. Just think about what happened yesterday. It would be sheer foolishness for me to leave your side. Is that so? Huh? I can see it in your eyes. It's clear that the Aegis, or rather, that boy, has made a great impression on you. That's not. I am your special inquisitor. Ensuring your majesty's safety is my only concern. To abandon that duty and go traveling, Is this Aegeon's? A driver who cannot even protect himself is no driver at all. Yesterday's events have made me keenly aware that I have no aptitude for it. It will be of more use in your hands. Majesty. That's so sweet. The world is changing, Morag. I trust you more than anyone to lend that boy the wisdom and strength he will need. I miss it, you know? Lake Util and Gormont. What? Remember when the two of us would shake off the servants and go swimming there? Um, yes, of course. Kids from the nearby village would come too. Good times. Majesty. If more Arden, no, the whole of all rest, could be like that again, wouldn't it be beautiful? 
Is that my new duty then? In truth, it should have been you sitting in this chair right now. The Imperial Ring has always passed from father to son. On the day your majesty was born, that's exactly what happened. I knew that day would come. It came as no surprise. You were raised by my father to take the throne of the Empire. As befits the daughter of my lord uncle Andred. And I am grateful for it. If not for him, I would never have met Bridget. Never have met them. I'd have missed out on so much. There. Those are your true feelings. <sighs> A magnificent power resides in you. Morak, power like yours exists to be used. No, I You've been tied down long enough. Follow your heart, Morag Lydia. I have no words. Thank you, Your Majesty. Very well, then. I hereby accept the task you have assigned to me. That's the Morag I know and love. Make me proud. That was a very nice scene. This game gets so fucking good. Like, oh my god. I mean, it starts off good, but it just goes from good to great to amazing to just, oh my goodness. So that's how it is. It seems our paths continue to entwine. Yes! That's awesome news. Stay with us. To be honest, I was really hoping there was some way you could stick around. I was just thinking of asking you myself. Saved you the trouble, did I? That you did. Thanks a bunch, Morag. I can't help but feel that in all the confusion surrounding Banner, our concerns have been neatly swept as I. The Praetoria maintains absolute control over blade distribution. It is quite vexing. Awakening rates from natural cores are very low, which limits the pool of compatible drivers. So to create large numbers of drivers, the cleansing Indol provides is a necessity. That much I'm willing to accept. The real problem is the fact that the Aegis has awakened. But this is no time to be squabbling over territory. If we misread the situation even a little, Uriah itself could be sunk to the Cloud Sea's bed. Smart Queen. Emperor Nile must surely be thinking the same thing. That's why he sent his precious Morag to shepherd them along. And now we find ourselves in their debt. Who could have predicted such an act of selflessness? Was it just the passion of youth? Or was it... Knowledge? In any case, for now we should keep our troops mobilized while we monitor the situation. I hardly expect Tantor will comply with the Praetor's plan so easily either. Nice, we got our full party. I'm gonna throw Morag in for uh, Zeke. Ah, uh, nice. The sun's coming down. It's always it's always gorgeous in this game when the sun comes down. All right, well, uh, talk to Dorara or Dorara in, uh, hold on.
I'm gonna sneeze. Feels like I have to sneeze. Fuck <laughs> you! I had to sneeze. Oh god. So yeah. It looks like in the next episode, guys, we are going to be. Why did it get so light? Don't worry, I'll protect you from the scary dark. <laughs> Mithra, I'll protect you from the scary dark. <laughs> um. But yeah, in the next episode, guys, we are going to make our way towards Tantal. Now that we have our full party and Bana has finally been fucking taken care of. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace.